If you do not know how to record from Procreate, I will link a video right up here at the top so that you will be able to learn how to do that. What we're going to do is create a kaleidoscope today. So we're going to click on this plus sign right here. And we're going to choose square, which is 2048 by 2048. This is one of the defaults. And then we're going to go to the wrench, which is the actions menu. You've got add. You've got canvas. Share. Video. All that good stuff. Let's go over here to canvas. We're going to turn on the drawing guide. And then we'll go to Edit Drawing Guide. Then we're going to come all the way over here to Symmetry. We'll open up the options down at the bottom. And you can choose either Quadrant or Radial. Today I feel like using Radial, so I'll use that. And we'll tap on Done. Now, if we look at our layer, it should say Assisted underneath Layer 1. If it does not, tap on Layer 1 and put a check mark on Drawing Assist right here. We now have our Quadrant Symmetry all set up. Well, our Radial Symmetry, which, as you can see, does all kinds of neat little things. We're going to go into the Actions menu and turn Drawing Guide off. But that does not stop the symmetry from happening. It just gets rid of the lines, which is what we want to do. Now you want to start your recording. Once again, well, actually, let's set up the brush first. Let's go into the spray paints. And we're going to come here to Flix. Slide it to the left and duplicate it. Then go into Flex 1 and go to Color Dynamics. We're going to put the hue around 70% or so. Saturation, lightness, you can add a little darkness if you want. Just to add a little bit of variety. We do not need a secondary color on the stamp color jitter. We're going to tap on Done. Then we're going to tap on our color circle and choose a color. Let's grab this blue right here just for the fun of it. And now we want to go ahead and start the recording. Once again, right up here at the top, this is the link to see how to set up your recording. And then once the recording is started, we want to start right here in the middle and create an oval I'm going to make mine going up through here. So I will start in the middle and I will go back. And that's a little small, so let's make it bigger. Let's go to 45%. And then we'll make that oval again. I like that much better. We hold. And it says ellipse created. And now. I'm going to hold it right here in the middle, and then I'm going to start moving my brush around. Just random curly cues and loops and all sorts of things. You can go as fast or as slow as you want. As long as you start and stop, at the same place, you will be able to create a nice loop. Once the loop is created, you release. And now you want to stop your recording. You then bring it into your favorite video editing software. 
I use Shotcut. That's S H O T C U T because it happens to be free and I find it pretty easy to use. You may have a video software that you like better. Just make sure whenever you're finished with your edit that everything on the outside is gone and the only thing you have is the square here in the middle. And that way you can expand it out, play it on a loop, and you will have a lovely kaleidoscope going on. I used the Flix brush. I have also used my abstract brushes, which you can get on Gumroad, the links below. And they make wonderful kaleidoscopes. I hope this helps you out, and I hope you have a wonderful day.